days like today are very exciting for me because I love to be around kingdom people and especially kingdom women that are on the front lines, that are not backing away from the enemy, that are not intimidated by the warfare. Women that have taken a licking and keep on ticking uh, for God's cause, for the movement that he wants to unleash on the earth. And Dr. Carol Elaine is one of these amazing warriors. She has lived an exemplary life. She is in love with Jesus. She flows with the power of the Holy Spirit. She is an author. She is a Bible teacher. In fact, not just a Bible teacher, but she is the president, founder, and dean of a Bible college. And so today we're going to talk about her journeys, uh, women um, of the Word International, her, her ministry to ladies, and just how God is with us in the twists and the turns and in the valleys and, and in the, the peaks of life. And so, Dr. Carol, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, sweetie. <laughs> it's so good to see you again. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. It's I, home. <laughs> it is home. And this is so special to me because I got connected and just fell in love with your ministry 30 years ago. Wow. Can you believe how, wow. I mean, wow. I I, you not. only look 33, so. <laughs> and you uh, know what? You have just bought great favor with me. <laughs> uh, I oh. remember being in little storefronts and in high school cafeterias and in places where you uh, would look at people and see right into their spirit and their soul and bring words of wisdom and words of knowledge I saw the captive be set free and people come alive. Praise the just Lord. Just by you being obedient to God. Praise the Lord. And you know, that's what it takes. Yeah. If you're willing and obedient, you'll eat the good of the land. God will use you. Yes. I don't care who you are, what you look like, what age you are. If you're willing and obedient, yeah. I love your program. I love the set. Oh. This. And I just love everything God's doing with you. I'm excited. And I told someone when they called me, I said, oh, I get to be on her program. Oh, that's <laughs> music to my God ears. Yes. He's so faithful. He is. And when he desires to promote you, no one can stop it. Yes. No one can stop it. And that's what he's done with you. He's raised you up. And I'm excited to be here and be a part of it. Yay. <laughs> well, I know today is going to be precious. Okay, so let's start with, because there's so many uh, ways we can go. We can talk about the books, yes. the Bless Your Home, and the Mantles for the Daughters, and uh, Give Me Them Tongues, <laughs> and or we could talk about the Bible College, or we could talk about the women's ministry. So you choose. Okay, let's talk about the women's ministry okay. first of all. Okay. Um, one of the things, God spoke to me actually 12 years ago. I had a vision. And I do believe in visions. Yes, you, I, do. I, you know, the Bible's full of visions. <laughs> it is. And I was seeking the face of God, and I saw a vision as I was waking up. And one of the things, you know, Jen, I think is important for your audience that's listening right now is that that waking up period. Yeah. is vitally important. It, a lot of my visions will come during that time, right after I've rested, because my, my soul is rested, my body is rested, and God speaks to my spirit. And I saw a vision. I saw it as clear as could be. I saw women mm. from other cultures, other nations, and they were going to a place of worship with the Bible under their arm, dressed in their cultural dress. Yeah. And as I watched them, I was baffled by what I was seeing. And all of a sudden, like a ticker tape, like you would see on the news, you know, uh, it, it, the newscast that will have a ticker tape that comes across the, the bottom. bottom. Well, this was over the top of their heads. And it said, women of the world. 
And with us being in church, we always thought worldly women, bad connotation. We don't say women of the world, but God called them women of the world. And that's why he so loved the world. That's he gave. Right. So he said, women of the world. I'm watching this. I'm baffled. I'm watching this happen before my very eyes. And the next thing that was said was women of the word. I'm watching this. And then that disappeared off to the side and then came across, wow. <laughs> and I'm watching that and I... I'm in amazement, and I call my friend, which you and I both have that mutual friend, Vera, Oh, and I know she's a prayer warrior, and that's she why she and I just kind of hit it really off, because she does hear from God, but she will pray for you. She will. And so I called her up, and I said, I believe you're to start a well. <laughs> And she laughed. She said, Dr. Carol, he didn't give me that vision. I'm, she said, don't you try to push that vision off on me. And so I started it. Yeah. And what happened was I became discouraged with it because dealing with women, I didn't realize that women sometimes can be very catty. Petty. Sometimes, you know, God, no wonder he says, Women, submit yourself to your husband because the word submit is sometimes difficult for women to do. And we're to submit to those that are in authority. Well, it was like I opened the floodgates and I, I remember thinking, I don't need this. I don't want this. I laid it down, Jen. Oh, I laid which it down. many do. Yes. We get, we're hu in our humanity we can get discouraged. Yes, I laid it down and I thought, I'll just go and preach, and I did. And I'll work on our Bible school. It's my husband's as well. He and I are co-founders of it. I'll just work on the Bible school. I'm not doing this <laughs> wow <laughs> anymore. And I, I today I call it I wow I, the, and it means I am a woman of the word international because it. there's so many wows out there. Yeah. So to differentiate it, I call it I, wow, I. And God began to bless me right in the beginning of it. But because I don't like confrontation, I don't like going toe to toe with anyone. I'm like, I just want peace. <laughs> I, <laughs> peace in the valley. Yes. <laughs> it's my don't, favorite song. You don't want to herd cats. <laughs> no. Uh -uh, uh -uh. And I'm thinking to myself, you, you remember what Moses said. Oh, God, what have you done to me? Yes. I'm carrying these around. In people, my, why'd yeah. you do yes. give me these crazy yes. people? Yes. And so I ended up, and lo and behold, I, I go on a three-day fast. And I start praying, oh, God, what <laughs> do you have for me? All of a sudden, I see women pop up. And I'm thinking, this is not God. No, 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 it's not God. It's not God. And I'm thinking, that's not God. And then I'll tell you, I got to the place where I was thinking, I'm going to retire public speaking. I'm not going to speak anymore. I'm just going to work on the school. I will push the school. I get great satisfaction, satisfaction uh, you know, studying the word. And just recently, Marcus Rogers has picked it up. So Yay. we just had a, a tremendous breakthrough. Praise God. And it's called Cross Exalted Seminary. And I thought, I'm just going to work on the school. All of a sudden, I start going from one city to the next city to the next city. And I'm going to tell you, the prophets are on their toes. They are on their job. They started coming out. You are going to be used with women. It was one prophecy after another. And I ran into my room, Jen, and I started crying out to God in my bedroom. And I said, God, I really don't have the faith for this, but one thing I am is faithful. And I believe this may be you. And if it is, then I'm going to do it. And he began to confirm in the, I, it would take me the whole program to tell you who all called me, who all said this, who all did that. And God confirmed it. 